Sounds good. Let's get it started. Hey, James, how's it going? Much better than it has been. Much better. So, what are you doing tonight? Testing. Testing? What are you testing? Since, since I finally got my buddy Mike O.C. to bring his ass out here and film for me. <laughs> do some videos for me. Testing Chevy 2. So, uh, you haven't seen it, have you? I have yet to see it. Uh, is this like the same motor or are oh, you running? Oh, no. Better look at it real quick while you're videoing. You ain't even got to look at it. You, you believe that? LS. Me, an LS. James with an LS. Is that a boat blow through carb? No. No? That's, that's a Holly Stealth. Really? Fuel injection. Still fuel injection. Well, you know, I've always had, I've always had, ran the uh, sniper on it, a blow through sniper. Yeah. And, uh, I just put the stealth on it with a dominator in it when I did this deal. So this is the motor. You know about my Grand National I was building? Yeah. I was building it for the show. Well, I had the motor that was out of this that was having an oil pressure issue, we thought. My brother put the other motor in it. It had an oil pressure issue, but it wasn't oil pressure. It was actually the sending unit. So I put, we fixed the sending unit deal. And I, I fucked up, and when I was running the motor, the, the, the oil pump drive came up out of the distributor hole down, and I didn't know it, and basically filled the bottom of the uh, intake full of oil and knocked two rods loose in it. Wow. So, wasn't going to get done with the Buick in time. Everybody was on my ass, Sean, Ryan, Stacy, everybody saying, take the Nova, take the Nova, take the Nova. So... The only small block I had was that motor, which this is a 440 inch LSR block, uh, LS7 CNC ported cylinder heads, built by Kelly Blue Ball. No way. At WFO, yeah. That's awesome. I did not know Kelly built about 10 LSs a week. Wow. I didn't know that. But he built this motor for me. And uh, how much compression are you running? 10 and a quarter. Wow, that's not bad. Street friendly. Ten and a quarter ones. So I can drive it on pump gas. Uh, F1, F1X. I stepped up from the F194A, which the, blo the the boost curve on those blowers up to 30 pounds is identical, or 25, 26 pounds. Which I'll never run that much boost on this motor. It doesn't have six bolt heads. So why the change of blower? Is it more efficient on low end? No, actually, it's a little. It's a little. It, it doesn't make as much low end as the F194A. So okay. my thought process was to make it a little bit more friendly on the tire. Okay. What I didn't know, because this is a 4100 stroke, all my little 406 small blocks are 375 stroke. What I didn't realize is going by that much more stroke, which is, I mean, it's almost a quarter of an inch, isn't it? Or three seven, oh, yeah, I guess it is. It's a little, it's over a quarter of an inch. Hell, I never did the math on that until just now. No wonder I couldn't get the fuck car to hook no more. <laughs> but, you know, this car's always been able to leave on fucking dirt. That's true. I put this motor in, I could not get this son of quit spinning the tire. Yeah. Every time you touch the throttle, it just knocked the tire off. So the way I've always had this car set up is where it would separate and drive the tire into the ground. That shit won't work with this motor. I had to redo everything in the car to get it to work. In yeah. other words, instead of it separating, now it squats. I'd loosen the front end up. I've had to do a lot, but the streets we're running on, not very good streets. I mean, they're asphalt. Yeah concrete and asphalt but they're uh i mean hell they're like racing across this parking lot <laughs> <laughs> so it's perfect tonight uh yeah i, I haven't even looked at i haven't been out here in a long time where we're testing that but um i remember the last time i was there i think i was racing my little joe gibbs truck oh the supercharged one yep yeah which by the way it's for sale again Ooh. i sold it where can the, guy, pe the, the guy that bought it yeah. actually wants to sell it because he said he can't, he's got like an eighth of a mile of dirt road and he said he can't bring himself to drive it down that dirt road for an eighth of a mile and he said it's really too nice a truck for him. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, What's so funny? Well, I mean, that's, that's one of the reasons I never drove it it's because I never wanted nothing to happen to it. Oh, okay. But I, I said all the time that's why I sold it. Yeah. And, and I still got my silver truck. Yeah. The silver truck is a fucking blast anyway. But 
silver truck's a later model truck, and I'm not as worried about hurting as I am that Joe Gibbs truck. That Joe Gibbs truck's super rare. So I'll be posting it back up for sale pretty quick. Yeah. So still got the turbo 350 in it. Still got the gear vendors. Uh, still got 331 gear in it. Or 323. 323 gear, I think. Holy smoke. What do you think you could top end with that rear end? Oh, I don't know. With the overdrive and everything? Yeah. Oh, it'd be way up there. Woo! Everything about this motor is totally different than the 406. I mean, everything's different. It, 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 the RPM, the torque curve on it, the, the blower acts different. So basically for the last three, four weeks, well, you don't know this, but the orange car, the 69, Yeah. I started to use it. Really? And, and by the time I got it lined out where it hooked real good, yeah. it, it flipped the drive shaft out and put a hole about that big in the bottom of the floorboard. Destroyed Stacy's car. Oh. Yeah. So that's what cause I was trying to get this this thing lined out. So yeah. <laughs> you still have yours in the trailer, so uh -huh. you got your car in the trailer, so yeah, well it's ready to back off. When you pulled up, I was just thinking to back it off. Sounds good. Let's get it started. <laughs> what do you think? Mm. So what kind of changes did you make? Oh, I pulled a, pulled a shitload of air out of the tires and a shitload of timing out of it. See if we can get it to go down. Because right now, it is not wanting to go down this road. Which I did from the other night. I did turn the blower up a little bit, but I didn't think I turned it up that much. So we're down in Austin. Let her rip, Tater Chip.
That's a pretty good lick right there. That pass right there. And made. I still got this thing turned way down. Right there, we peaked at 13.9 pounds of boost. That's 14.9 right before I lift it. Air fuel. There's my target air fuel, that green line. Yeah. Or the, the turquoise line. And the yellow line is what it actually is. I mean, it's just bam, bam, bam. I'm like within, I'm minus two, plus three. Usually when you can get these plus or minus 5%, yeah. pretty fucking dead on. But that pass right there, and you can see, I short shifted it at 6,400. And we went through at about 6,500. So we got another 1,500, about another 1,500 RPM. So that's another, I don't know, two, three pounds of boost. So it's gonna run. That was a good lick right there. No, it was. That's good enough, I, I'm, I'll load it up now. Yeah. Because honestly, on, th on this street, streets we're racing on, Somebody out runs that, they just did better homework than I did. Yeah. Well, how much horsepower do you do you think you're making, or you're not sure? Well, I really don't know how much horsepower it's making. It's a 440 cubic inch motor, um, making 15 pounds of boost. So I guess the best thing is you guys tell me what you think it's making. Everybody do the math on it, horsepower per cubic inch with that boost. And you guys comment and see what you think it's making. And then maybe next week sometime we'll put it on the dyno and find out what it's really making. 